Hi, this is Nick Forster. Every week on the air, we recognize someone our listeners have told us about, folks who are stepping up in their own communities or beyond and making a positive impact. We do this not only to share these inspiring stories with listeners like you, but to remind us that so often, even in the face of big problems, little steps can lead to great results. It's the Achievement Award, and here's Helen to tell you about this week's winner. As a small child, George Bosch fled with his family to America shortly after Hitler took over Austria in 1938. As an adult in the U.S., George enjoyed a successful career in real estate, as well as extensive traveling in his spare time. After suffering the tragic loss of his son Paul to suicide in 1998, George eventually traveled to Nepal in 2001. There, he discovered that indoor cooking fires and poor ventilation were causing severe health problems for the general populace, especially women and children. Uh, every home that you go into in Nepal and every tea house, they're cooking either with open campfires in the home itself yeah. or with very inefficient stoves, so they're filled with smoke. And when they're cooking or when they're using dung as a fuel, right. it's really pretty rotten. Yeah. And anybody that's trekked in Nepal uh, experiences that. Yeah. And you just kind of shrug it off because that's the way it is and you put up with it. But it's pretty, pretty unpleasant. And the culture is such that it's predominantly women and children in the house during most of the time? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. So they're being adversely affected by that. Right. Years later, George learned about an innovative new stove that could correct this situation. And uh, a few months later, I was trekking in Bhutan and somebody told me about this very efficient stove, and it was one of those cartoon light bulb moments, you know, where yeah. the light turns on, and uh, that's how it all started. Yeah. George decided to start an all volunteer nonprofit organization to supply these non polluting stoves to Nepalese families. It's called the Himalayan Stove Project. Through their efforts, two important challenges are being addressed one, helping to combat a serious health threat and two, improving the environment in the process. And Helen mentioned the fact that there's the, the environmental impact is not just the uh, immediate one of, of cutting down on the smoke in the, in the dwellings themselves, but also cutting down on the pressure on the forests. That's correct. These stoves are, are highly efficient. Uh, they cut down the indoor air pollution by 90%, and they cut down the fuel use by 75%. Wow. So we're helping the health situation in the home, we're helping the forest, we're putting less soot into the environment, and it's a safer environment in the home because the kids frequently fall into these open fires and, and suffer oh, very wow. severe injuries. Wow. So everything that we're doing has a strong positive effect. Since George Bosch began the Himalayan Stove Project in 2010, the organization has delivered close to 4,000 stoves, positively impacting the lives and health of over 30,000 people. I know a lot of people think about success just strictly in monetary terms, but it seems to me like you've, um, you, you feel as successful probably doing this project as you have doing any else, anything else you've done in your life. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, monetary, yeah, you, you can't afford to do projects if you're not able to take care of yourself and your family. Right. But you reach a point, how much is enough, and what do I do with my time and my energy and my capabilities and the connections that you've made, and how do you, how do you marshal those so that you can give something back to the society as a yeah. whole? Congratulations to George and to the hardworking volunteers of this inspiring effort. You'll find more information on the Himalayan Stove Project on our website, etown.org.